In this video, we'll be doing the uh, creating a dynamic composition exercise from Digital Foundations, uh, Chapter 1. So we're going to start by making a new file. We're going to go File, New, and we're going to choose a tabloid size file. So this is going to be, um, we'll start by naming it, Dynamic Composition. And we're going to choose a print format, print profile and tabloid size. And most of us are more comfortable working in inches, so we'll go ahead and set our measurement to inches and click OK. And for this assignment, uh, I always like to make sure that we give proper credit, we'll be using um, two things. One is an image uh, painting created by a gal named Annette Bank and she, Annette is in the UK and the image is called Underwater Series 2 and you can visit Annette's website at www.annette-bank.co.uk and we'll also be using the Digital Foundations exercise. So I have our text way too big for this box but it is listed um, on our course homepage and I'll also put these links in the notes uh, underneath the video as well. So we'll get rid of those. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually place our uh, template into this um, document. So we're going to use File, Place, and I'll get to the right class here. And here's the image, uh, Underwater Series 2. And one of the things that we all of us do, I just did it, I did it kind of on purpose, um, but nobody ever reads the information in the dialog box. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. We're going to do it again. File, Place. And this time, when I select the image, I'm going to really make sure to look at my dialog box. I want to make sure that I uncheck the link option. This will actually embed the image right in my document and I want to check the template option. This is going to install the image in, on its own layer, a locked non-printing layer, and it will put it at a 50% opacity so that I can use the image simply as a template and not as an actual design element. I'm going to go ahead and click place. And in our layers panel, you'll notice that this layer is locked, so even though it's selected, when I go to move it, nothing happens. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that, move this around. I'm actually going to place a little white space at the top. Um, notice my cursor. When I move my cursor near the edges of the bounding box, the cursor changes. Uh, I can rotate with the cursor or I can resize. And when I resize, I can accidentally get this image completely out of proportion. Um, this is one of the biggest dangers of work of resizing images. Uh, so what we're, what I'm going to do is actually hold down my shift key and when I do that it constrains the proportions of the image so that as I resize it it maintains its uh, height and width pr in proportionally. So I'm going to set this image right about there. I'm going to go ahead and relock my layer. Now remember, if you need to access any of the options for this layer, they live in the flyout menu on the upper right hand corner of our layers panel. Um, in this case, I'm going to have to move it over so it stays within my little window here. Um, and you can see there's a whole list of options. Uh, new layer. The layer options are where we would make this a template. So I can change it from a regular layer to a, no, to a template layer simply by clicking this box. When I do that, notice a few things happen. Number one, um, a lot of my options become unavailable. Number two, this is a big one, the check mark in the print box goes away. So no longer is this layer going to print. That's really important. I can also reduce the opacity or increase the opacity of this layer. This will allow me to still use the eyedropper tool to sample colors, um, but to have a, a lighter version of the image while I'm working. I'm going to go ahead and set that to about 30% and click OK. And so now I have a template layer that's locked and a new layer that I'm going to go ahead and work on. So that's setting up our document and embedding the template. 
uh, or I'm embedding the image as a template. Now we can start on our composition and we'll start that in the next video.